Hello, this video is going to be about how to use the PCM Tech flash and log feature and software. I'm going to go over what it looks like from the tuner's perspective and what it looks like from the customer or the end user's perspective. The flash and log feature is completely free and it's included with all Pro Tuner and Workshop accounts. It allows you to send customers tuner locked tune files that they can then flash with the corresponding flash only or flash and log software. There's two different ways you can use this feature. The first one is on a per customer basis. Every new customer you get, they get a new account and you lock the file to their account and to their car. The other way is if you have a shop that uses your tuning services, you can send all of the tuner locked tune files to their PCM tech account and then they will in turn flash them and do any data logging that you might need using their account. There are a couple of different ways accounts can be created either for or by the customer or the end user. The first one is they can go to the PCM tech website and go to register and create their own account or you can automatically create an account for the customer when you unlock them. The two things that you need to do that, the vehicle identification number for the car and the user's email address. That way you can go to the Motocraft service website and download the as-built data file for the customer's vehicle. And then once you have that, you go into the PCM Tech editor and you go to file, you go to unlock flash only customer. And it's going to ask you to open an as-built or a tech file which has the serial number and VIN of the customer's vehicle. So if you had a readout from the vehicle, you could do it with that. But in general, you'll probably be starting with an as-built file. And then we'll select uh, this one here is the stock as-built file for my car. And then it asks you to put in the username of the customer you wish to lock this tune to. After you put the email address for the customer in there, if they don't already have an account, it's going to automatically create an account on the PCM Tech website and the customer's vehicle identification number will be used as the password. Put the email address in and click OK. It's going to go through and do the steps that it needs to do on PCM Tech's end. Now that the end user is unlocked, we can create a stock file for their car. Go to Calibration Tools, Create Stock File, Create stock file from existing file, load file, and again select that as built data file that we downloaded earlier. We're going to save the file, and I'll just name this defaults. Click OK, and once that's done, just close out of this stock file wizard, and now we have a completely stock file for the customer's car with their vehicle identification number, their PCM serial number, everything loaded against it now. Now that we have a file that's linked to the customer, you can go in and tune the file. So I'm just going to apply a parameter file that has all my changes that I know I want to make for my car. And I'm just going to import from a parameter file. This is going to tune this file for my car which has a Whipple supercharger on it. It loaded all my changes and you can also put some details in the information tab. You could put your tuner name or your workshop name, any other notes you might want to stick in here. The notes in the tuner name down to miscellaneous, those will show up in the email that gets sent to the customer. And then you could also put a detailed description, any additional notes you want to put in here and the customer will be able to view this if they want in the flash and log software. And now that that's in there, click OK. Save the file. Now we can send a locked file to the end user. And just keep in mind, this file that's created, it's automatically tuner locked when you send it to the customer. So someone else can't read it out in the future. Go to File, go to Save Customer Flash Only File. And I'm just gonna name this Defaults Locked. Hit Save it's going to ask to put the email address in for the account created earlier. You do that, 
it runs through its process and you'll see that it's uploading the LTEC file and it sends an email to the customer. Additionally, if you just went to save as and save this as a locked flash only customer file, it will ask you to lock it to an account and the same guidelines apply as saving the customer flash only file. You have to put the username for the account in here or if there's not an account, again, it will create one for you for the email address that you put in there. If you have specific data logging templates that you want the customer to use after they've got the file, you could just go ahead and email those to the customer. Now that the file has been sent to the end user, they're going to get an email. And once that's open, you can see who it's sent to, what car it's for, a brief description of what Flash and Log allows them to do. It reminds the customer to get a cable. Again, that's the OBDX Pro FT. That's the recommended cable. It also gives some directions. If you as the tuner created an account for them, it also gives them some directions on how to log into their account if you did it with their vehicle identification number. Again, that's something you can do. There's two important links in this email though. There's the link for downloading the Flash and Log software, and there's the link for downloading the Tune file. I'm going to start by downloading the Flash and Log software. Just click the big download link, downloads the software for us, and then can go ahead and install that. And then the next thing is download the Tune file. And that just downloaded it for us. Now there's two options with the Flash and Log software. There is a Flash only version, and then there's a Flash only with data logging. I'll start by showing what the Flash only version looks like. And this is where the end user is going to input the PCM Tech account information for the account that they created earlier. And hit login, and we're good to go there. The options that we have here, you can read the stock file from the car. If you wanted to start like that with the customer, uh, have them read the stock file out of their car, but using the as-built data and downloading a file from the PCM Tech repository is just as easy, and it's one less step. Or we can open the file that we just downloaded, and this gives the ability to write the flash. And that's all you can do in this piece of software. The other option is the flash only with data logging. Now, this screen looks a lot like the PCM Tech Editor that the file was tuned in, but we're going to open the lock tune file, and you see you can't see any of the settings. So this is a flash only file and cannot be edited. But again, if we go to read write vehicle, this gives all the same read and write access that the flash only does. So in either one of these pieces of software, the customer can take the file that you sent, open it up, and write the flash to the vehicle. Once they're done doing that, if you want or if you need, the customer can go in and data log with the flash and data log software. If you did send them a channels file that you want them to data log, they can load it just the same as you can in the, the main PCM Tech Editor. I'll just pick uh, 18 to 20. But since I'm not connected to a vehicle, it's not going to show anything right now. So once the file has been written to the car and any data logs have been taken, and they can email those directly to the tuner, if any adjustments need to be made, the tuner can make those adjustments and again, send the customer a flash only file and it will do the same thing where it creates the email, emails it to the customer and they can download it and do it again. And this process can be repeated as many times as it needs to be in order to get the car dialed in. Thanks for watching.